Hello everyone, welcome to Data in Nutshell. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can dynamically update the drop-down values in our Google form with the help of Google Sheet. So in this case, we have a list of drop-downs here. Now, if I go and delete the countries from here, only four are left. If I go and refresh it, you will see there are only four values here, right? So how we can do that? We are going to look into that in this video. You have to go to the Google Sheets, create a tab known as validations, for example, where all your validations are present and then go to extensions. And then this is the code with the help of which you can update the drop down values of the Google form question dynamically. So this is the form ID where you have to link the ID of your Google form ID will be after slash E slash and you have you have to copy it from here till this before slash view form enter that here then this is a position of the question where you want to update for example in this Google form this is the first question that's why we have entered zero if if this question was in second position then I would have written as one because in this in the google form it starts from zero rather than one after that this is the google sheet id google sheet id where the validations are present and then this is the tab name which we are talking about this is the tab name okay and after that this is the last row of the google sheet that means i want the values to be picked from this range till which row right so in row one i have created this it is counting the total number of values in this particular range plus one why plus one i want this value six so that i can tell that go and stop till a6 so that's why we have entered a2 colon a plus plus last row that means a2 colon a6 and get the values and after getting that values you have to go and push the values in the Google form with the help of these lines. This will be very helpful when you know that your drop down values are going to change and you don't have to manually edit it. So now the Google script can definitely update it, but it cannot run on its own. That's why we also have to create triggers here and this trigger will be on edit. So how to create a trigger? Let me just delete it once. You have to click on add trigger like this, go to the function name that you have created. Function name is update dropdown values, head from spreadsheet and instead of on open, click on on edit and then save it. That means whenever there is an edit happens in this Google sheet, this script will run automatically. That's why when we go and delete these three, that means the script is running at the back end and when we go and refresh the google form it will give me the drop downs accordingly i hope this video will be very helpful and will reduce your lot of time thanks for watching